hang this, it hangs down here. If I pull this to one side, of course it'll want to go back to there and be, so that's where it's sort of steady. So I pull it to one side and let it fall back to there. Oh, it doesn't stop when it gets there. You see, this is a, and that behind all vibrations, there's something that it goes back to where it should be with the least tension, but it doesn't stop there, it goes on. And you find this in, in all kinds of vibrations and rhythms. Something wanting to return to a steady place and something not wanting to stop when it gets there. Can you take all sorts of different things in life? Wanting to go home, but not stopping when you get there. And that's the essence. Somehow there's an essence of vibration in that. So what I want to go on to today is to create some vibrations in a much more contained sense. So we'll come around this. I think perhaps I need to move this away somewhere. Can somebody just help me carry this um, up to there out of the way and so people can gather around. Just look at it and describe what you see. Perhaps you need to all come back around so that everyone can see it form a little ring around here. So what do you see? Describe it. A metal plate. Metal plate. Metal plate with a bolt. Bolt? Washer? Yeah, rubber. Have a look underneath. A metal base. It's pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy. flexible. Just a little bit rusty. Rusty. This one's not rusty. <laughs> Clamped there so it's firm. Part of its edge is sort of exposed over here. Like this is this is harder to get to for certain. This is open. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good point. And this one. It has a wooden base. It's a wooden base. Bolt going up. Doesn't have a nut on the top. It's Actual nuts the underneath. Off the edge of the table. Yeah. The base is this way. Yes. Yes. Circular in shape. Circular. That's square. Then we have another part here, a bow, is it a cello bow? Yeah. Which you have to tighten up. Cello bows, what are they made of? Horse hair. Horse hair, isn't that interesting? Can't pluck the tail of a horse. Don't let it kick you, though. <laughs> and this has got a bow so that as you tighten it up, this one begins to straighten. Yeah, they're beautifully made. And this, rosin. Where's rosin come from? Some sort of pine tree. I don't know which kind of pine tree. And it rubs it on here because they're horse hair. What's it going to do? And this sort of helps, gives a little bit of a grip. Now, with rosin, if you rub it hard, it melts. And then, quite quickly it will then solidify again. When it melts, it can allow things to move. And so, let's see if this... What are you hearing? A groan. <laughs> it's changing, isn't it? Now, in here, we've got some Folgers Classic Roast. Oh, disappointment.
Okay, tell us, because you provided it. It's fine white sand, to the best of my knowledge. It was actually given to me by the gentleman who made the plate. Yeah. 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 Yeah.